huge and amazing news for international medical graduates. The state of Tennessee allowed international medical graduates who did not complete residency in the US to practice in the state of Tennessee. Yes, practice in the US without repeating residency here. So if you're a neurosurgeon, orthopedic surgeon, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, or any type of doctor in your country, now you can come to Tennessee and practice in Tennessee without having to repeat residency. You can actually practice in Tennessee without doing residency in your home country. Can you believe that? Now let's go over what you need to do as a foreign graduate to be able to practice in Tennessee and some details related to this update. Let's start by talking about the requirements to be able to practice in Tennessee if you did not do residency in the US. Just to give you a background about the topic, most US states allow people to practice in the US without repeating residency. However, most states require require you to do some clinical time in the form of a fellowship, preliminary, a year or two of residency, and the law change varies from a state to another. And I have a detailed video about that and I'll put the link for that in the description below. But what is unique about the new change in Tennessee is that now you don't have to do any clinical time in the US to be able to practice in Tennessee. So what do you need now to be able to get the license in the state of Tennessee? One of the requirements of getting this license in the state of Tennessee is getting your ECFMG certificate, which means you need to do your step one exam, your step two CK exam, go through one of the pathways and get your OAT exam as well. And I have multiple blogs and videos that talk about how to become ECFMG certified and the six pathways for ECFMG certification. So the first requirement is being ECFMG certified. Now let's talk about the clinical experience requirement. The new law says that you have to have completed at least three years of post graduate training. What does postgraduate training mean? It means either residency or a fellowship or some type of training after you finish your medical school. So if you're someone who completed an internal medicine residency in their home country that lasted three or more years or a surgical residency of three or more years, you are eligible to get the license in Tennessee. However, what is shocking about this new law is that you actually do not have to have completed the residency. So completing three years of postgraduate training is one pathway, but you can also get the state license without doing the, these three years of postgraduate training. For those people, the state is requiring you to have practiced medicine for at least three years in your home country in the last five years. Again, practice medicine as a physician, performing the duties of a physician, not as a medical student or as an intern, as a physician for three years of the last five, you are eligible. So for example, in the last five years from 2018 to 2023, if you practice medicine from 2018 to 2021 and you are not practicing medicine in the last two years, that is still fine. But let's say you practice medicine between 2010 and 2013 and then you have not been practicing medicine in the last five years or the last 10 years, you're not eligible. So of the last five years, you have to have been practicing medicine for at least three years as a physician in your home country, which is again amazing news because if you're a general practitioner in your home country and you did not complete residency, you're still eligible to come and practice in Tennessee. So either three years of residency or fellowship training or practice medicine as a physician for three of the last five years. Now let's move on to the third requirement of getting the state license in Tennessee, which is a job offer. And in my opinion, that detail is actually the most challenging for international graduates to get. Why? Because the state specified where you can actually get the job offer from. So you can't just get the job offer from anywhere, from any physician in the state of Tennessee. They want you to get the job offer from a healthcare provider that runs an ACG EMEA accredited postgraduate training, which means the place that should hire you in the first two years should be an institution that has either a residency or a fellowship training accredited by ACG EMEA, which is the institution that accredits most residency and fellowship programs in the US. So that technically limits the number of offers you can get. A lot of healthcare providers in Tennessee might be eager to get international physicians to work with them. However, the state of Tennessee made it very clear that only institutions with a residency program or a fellowship program accredited by ACGME, only those, these institutions can hire physicians for the first two years. And you might ask, well, how can I increase my chances of getting hired by one of these institutions? First, great CV. Second, research experience. If you have research experience, that increases your chance of getting accepted. Third, being trained at a good institution in your country or a famous residency program or a fellowship program. Fourth, your clinical experience. So as a surgeon, the more complicated cases you do, the more advanced 
surgeries you do, the more likely you'll get the job. Well, what about step one, step two, CK score? Are these important? I don't think these will be important. We have still to wait and see what institutions think. But in my opinion, those getting a job as a physician, I don't think the institution would look at your step one pass fail, a step two CK score. Of course, you need to pass these exams to get the SFMG certificate, but I don't think they care too much about your step two CK score. So mainly your clinical skill, your research performance, especially for the big academic institutions and other things you have on your CV. And by the way, we have multiple online courses that can help boost your research skills. The first one teaches you how to take a research idea to publication. The second teaches you how to do the statistical analysis. The third teaches you about systematic reviews and how to be able to publish one. And all these courses are 100% refundable if you're not satisfied. Also, if you need one-on-one -on -one advising to guide you through this process, how to apply, what do you need to do to improve your chances, or you need your SMLE tutoring because you've studied these concepts so many years ago, we are here for you. We have all these services to help you achieve your dreams of practicing in the US. And you'll find all these in the description below. Now, let's say you satisfy these requirements. What happens next? You will get a provisional temporary license to practice in the state of Tennessee. But again, remember, you will be able to practice only in institutions that has postgraduate training, a residency or a fellowship accredited by the ACGME. So your license is restricted. However, if you stay in a good standing position, for two years after getting the provisional license, you'd be able to transform that into full unrestricted license. So if you're practicing on the provisional license, the one that is restricted for two years and you're doing great, no issues, no concerns, you'll be able to change that provisional license into a full unrestricted license, which means now you'll be able to practice anywhere in the state of Tennessee, not only at institutions that have postgraduate training accredited by the ACGME. So once you get the full license, you'll be able to practice anywhere in Tennessee. And finally, this law will take effect July 1st of 2024. So if you're excited to start prepping for the process, now is the time. Why? Because it will take you time to study for your step one exam, step to CK, the pathway, the ECFMG certificate, getting the job offer. All this will take at least a year to do so if you're interested now is the time we have an amazing team of advisors who can guide you through this process from point a which is your step exam everything you need along the way personal statement emails cvs interview preparation guidance on how to look for the job offers and how to get one and multiple online courses that can help boost your research skills and the link for all that is in the description below and if you have any questions about any of these services don't hesitate to schedule a 15 minute free consultation with our support team who will answer any questions you have about our services. If you find any value in this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this process, drop them in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malki Asad, my Facebook page Malki Asad MD, or our email info at Good luck everyone, and see you in future videos. Peace.